Hi, good evening. Um, thank you all for joining this webinar. And um, before we start off, I just would like to know if everybody can hear me clearly. There is a there is a small tab for you to um, to comment or ask a question in that tab or chat. In that tab, can you see my messages? If you can see my messages, please let me know. Uh, you can reply. OK, fantastic. I'm getting a few yeses. I would like more yeses, please. I see some people. OK, there's a questions pane as well. So. Um, Right, so looks like people can see me um, or can hear me at least. So let me switch my webcam on. Right. Right, so firstly, thank you all for making it here. It's been, uh, it's been um, a good ride because we are doing this kind of a webinar for the first time and we are very very happy to have pearl academy join us for this webinar um the idea of us having this series of webinars is that you can all of you all are looking at joining uh design schools and fashion schools in the year 2020 and the idea is that you all are able to um, really, we, we would like to create a platform where you can really reach out to the top people of this uh, of these institutes and uh, really, you know, get to know who they are, get to know what they are looking for from students like you, and really also tell you what you can get out of the course if you do join them. Um, I think we have a fantastic um, group of of people here um for today's webinar we have um we have a very good group of people from pearl academy and i would like to uh, introduce them to you just let me let me just move the screen right so today we have dr sanyogita cheddar uh, who's the campus director of Pearl Academy Bangalore, the newest center of Pearl Academy. Uh, we also have uh, Professor Antonio Maurizio Rioli, who's the dean of the School of Fashion. Okay. Uh, we do have Alec Alex uh, Velasco, the dean of the School of Design. And we also have Meha Jaiswal, who's the HOD of the School of Contemporary Media. So we are really, really lucky to have um, all these people here to really come out and, and, and take the time out from their busy schedules so that they could talk to you about um, Pearl Academy and, and see what you want and probably answer your questions. Uh, before we start, I have a small poll for you um so please take this poll i just need to know um what your state status is if you've already applied if you've not applied if you're waiting for this webinar just to get some kind of con confirmation or clarification um so yeah i have this poll up and accordingly we'll try and help you out Right, almost everyone's responded to this poll. So I will close this poll in five, four, three, two, one. Okay, right. So I'll close that poll. Thank you for taking the time out to uh, to answer that. Right. So. Um, Welcome, Dr. Sanyogita. 
uh, I've known Dr. Sanyogita since a long time. Um, over the last few years, I've found her, you know, extremely, extremely passionate about design and passionate about education. And I think there cannot be anyone uh, better to lead the School of Design uh, in Bangalore. Okay, School of, of Pearl Academy. So welcome, Dr. Sanyogita. So you could take it away from here. Thank you so much, uh, Dion. I hope I'm audible. Am I audible to everybody? Can you hear yes, me? Okay, yes. good evening, everybody. Thank you so much for spending here talking to you all. Uh, we had actually planned that we would meet you in person at some venue organized by DQ Labs or something, but that's not to be. And I think today it's more important that we have to be uh, we have to be safe rather than anything else. So please stay at home. Please be safe. And this is a great way to actually meet you people. So before I start, I just want to play a video of Pearl Academy. And uh, I hope you can all see my screen. And then I will take a presentation as we go. So can you? Yeah. So thank you so much. Uh, so that is our, so that is Pearl Academy and that is what I think we do well. And I'm gonna just walk you through a presentation which is all about Pearl. And uh, I'm gonna just, I think if there are any, there are any uh, questions you all have in mind, anything you'd like to ask us, we have an amazing panel out here who can answer all your questions. I hope I'm audible. Am I audible to everyone? Okay, so who are we? Uh, we are Pearl Academy. We are 27 years old. We have six campuses, 60 creative courses, 4,500 students, and we are growing at every day in what we are doing. Once one check, something is happening here. Okay. Uh, we believe that every we have 3000 plus faculty we believe international experience is important for all our students our placement rate is at 99 percent which is fantastic we have been adjudged by isochem as the best design college in india uh, we have amazing international and national alliances which i'll walk you through as i go through my presentation and i think we're probably the best college to be in. So if anybody has any doubts about it, I think you need to rethink where you want to go. But I think Pearl has been ranked as amongst the top 25 fashion colleges in the world by the business of fashion. Not an easy ranking to get because they're very, very strict as to which colleges they even consider for this ranking. And luckily for us, Pearl Academy has been ranked at the top 25. Um, so. Uh, what's happening in the world around us? You guys are privy to what's happening. The world is changing, right? Uh, Amazon changed the way, Amazon and Mintra changed the way we shop. Everybody's online shopping today. I'm meeting you online, something we would never ever have thought possible a few months ago. Uber changed the way we look at moving around. We never thought that we could actually hail a cab and hop into it on an app. But Uber, Uber and Ola changed the way we travel. Airbnb changed the way we looked at moving and move, traveling and staying in hotels. And Baiju's has changed the way students actually learn interesting subjects. So the world is actually changing. And uh, Pearl, at Pearl Academy, we've been talking about the new reality for a very long time. And we've been talking about doing a conference based on the new reality. We did not expect this to become the new reality, but that's where we are. So what is the future of work? So the future, 
9% of the kind of jobs that are going to be the future of 2022 don't even exist today. By that I mean that there are so many jobs that are going to show up which we don't know the skill sets that are needed for that kind of a job. 37% of all jobs are going to have totally changed skill sets. So if you look at what's happening today, you can already see the change that is actually happening. One out of five people who are hired for new age skills are going to be for design jobs across every industry. And this is not an exaggeration. This is actually what's going to happen. And 60% of all jobs that are going to be of the future are going to fall under design, analytics, and artificial intelligence. So if you look at it, it's an interesting time to be a designer in this world. And the World Economic Forum has said that creativity and thinking out of the box and basically being creative individuals is going to be one of the top three skills required in the future. A great time to be a designer, a great time to be a creative person. So if you look at it, uh, we, do we need to keep changing as well? Do we need to keep changing the way we learn, the way we teach? Uh, this new reality that we all are living in today. Do we need to adapt to that? Do we need to do something different? Of course, we need to do everything different for that. And how does an institute, especially an institute like Paul or any other design college you go to, ensure a career beyond a career? And are there opportunities for global exposure to students? How do we ensure the best placements for our students? I think these are the questions that we keep asking ourselves at Paul. And that's why we've come up with something called the Pearl Total Learning System. Amazingly, when, us, when you join us in the first semester, the first day in college, the first week in college, we have this amazing thing called Power Wow, where you are exposed to a variety of workshops and activities that probably you wouldn't have thought you would have ever joined or enjoyed so much. We, are, we, just, we talk about learning beyond the curriculum, and which is why uh, Pearl Academy has tied up with Coursera and with the business of fashion for students and faculty to learn from these portals. We believe that you can study in the classroom, but there's an entire world outside that you need to be exposed to. And Coursera and the business of fashion do that. In fact, all the course leaders in Maritza's team, I think, have been doing courses on Coursera. And when you talk to Fibber, he'll tell you all the courses that he's actually been doing on the business of fashion and Coursera. Really interesting. We talk about industry integrated circuit. We talk about something called open labs. Open labs is a time in the semester where you can go and do something which may not be part of what you're studying. You could be a fashion design student and you can actually go and learn something in the school of design. You could be a product designer and you might want to learn a styling. You might want to learn styling because that's what you would like to do. That's your passion. Open labs are exactly that. They give you this transdisciplinary uh, you, this gives you the chance to actually explore some transdisciplinary curriculum. We talk about live, live industry projects, and I think that is something which Maritzio, when he takes a session, will touch upon in greater detail than I am doing, or Shishti and Meha will talk about this in greater detail. We are really closely linked with the industry. The industry comes to the classroom, the industry gives projects, and our students are all the time interacting with the industry. We also have a huge number of master classes. Yeah, the master classes are conducted by people in India, conducted by people abroad. You have MMU students who are here in Pearl learning from arts teachers. There's a, there are master classes run by people from overseas. I mean, the, 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 uh, the number of opportunities that Pearl actually has to get learning to you in some form is amazing. There are exchange opportunities. Opportunities. When you talk about global learning projects, there are exchange opportunities. You can travel overseas. You can do a you can do a semester abroad. You can do a module abroad. You can do a summer school abroad. You can there's so many. You can do projects with uh, universities overseas. There are immense opportunities for you to learn that. And of course, you have an international lab module, which I'll leave Maritza to talk about when he when he takes the session with you. I think he's the best person to talk about that. And we have career and mentoring. So we believe that. You need to be helped. So professional assessment is we help you to come up uh, to be pre to prepare for interviews. We help you to prepare your bio directors, to prepare your CVs, to post it on various uh, platforms, to prepare yourself mentally to go for a job. Um, career mentoring, we have an entire department called the Career Services Desk, which actually helps you to meet the industry. You'll be meeting industry throughout your entire career at Pearl. And at the end of it, you're going looking for internships and looking for jobs. The career services desk, the faculty are all out there. So why do we call this a Pearl Total Learning System? 
it is learning because it's embedded in your curriculum it is pearl and it is part of our curriculum and the way pearl has actually brought about this whole thing and this is an entire total there's a totality in the way you learn so apart from the classroom you're learning in so many other ways and this is something we are really really excited about and we also have something called an, a career advisory which tells you which kind of a job you can go to so if you are confused about where you want to work do you want to be a stylist do you want to be a designer do you want to become a product designer do you want to do a website design there's an entire team which will come and talk to you and help you to decide what you should do and there's incubation support for people who want to start their own business we tied up with we work where you can actually work out of a we work cohabited working space and you can use their space to actually start a business and incubate your own business uh, we believe that this is something which is fantastic for our students and our alumni alike uh, so where is the world going to and what are we actually doing the world is changing right and it's not enough to just learn from teachers in your classroom and hence pearl tied up with coursera which has 3600 plus courses that that the students at pearl can apply for absolutely free there are top universities there are all the ivy league colleges offering you amazing courses and if you actually go on to the coursera website you will find and it's a certification that you get you'll actually find that once people take those courses out of here their job opportunities become tenfold they actually increases so many times about so apart from the course that you will learn in college you will also have the opportunity to log on to coursera and do the course of your choice so what does global at pearl mean so we have a full scholarship for four weeks exchange program in europe and canada for every pearl student so every student who joins pearl gets this opportunity you can get an international degree so you can we have partner we have partnerships with academic universities abroad like i think manchester metropolitan nottingham trent university derby uh, um, uh, the university of creative arts london and many other such universities which i'll share with you in a later slide where you can actually go there and you can get an international degree in your final year of your undergraduate studies we have internships and this is something i think which i should leave to uh, maritzio and to shristi to talk about where you can actually go and participate in the paris fashion week new york fashion week dubai fashion week and many more such opportunities so when we say we are giving you a global opportunity it doesn't just mean globally learning from a globe from an international faculty it also means you get a chance to go and actually participate on a global platform these are pictures of some of our students who have been going out and where all they have been and I should leave this to Maritzio because I think he talked about the New York Fashion Week in greater detail and the London Fashion Week in greater detail. But having said that, there are many, many opportunities where our students get to go and participate globally. So these are our alliances. So when we talk about alliances and international academic partners, I don't just mean we have the name up on our board. I actually mean that these are um, people with whom Pearl has had long-standing relationship. Uh, these are people who partner with Pearl. in doing the projects with faculty so faculty do projects students do projects uh, we do uh, we have students coming in from their universities to pearl to do a course we have students from our university from uh, from pearl going to these universities to do a part of their module uh, our students get a chance to go and do an entire semester with some of these colleges you can do an entire final year that you want to do with any of these universities that we are partnered with and i think the alliances that we have are among the best universities in the country in the world and i think this opens an entirely new uh, a entirely new opportunity for anybody who joins pearl just to mention a few there's university of creative arts there's northumbria there's fit fidm university of derby manchester metropolitan nottingham trent and the list just goes on so we are really really proud of our alumni we have alumni of pearl in every city in the country every city probably in the world our alumni are doing fantastically well we have alumni who have become internationally famous and for them and they are our pride and joy we have the full support for startups in association with we work lab so any alumni of pearl uh, is part of the pearl family as anybody who joins pearl is and we extend full support to these alumni to to start their own business and we give them the space at we work to actually work out of a place where they can be comfortable and they can get support to start their business for their own startups 
we offer placement support for alumni for five years until after they passed out of work. It's a really long time, but if you think of it, five years for some people will not be too much. You leave college, you don't want to take up a job, you want to do something of your own, great, please go ahead and do that. Because you know you can always come back to Pearl and get supported to start your, to come and look for a job. And we have an entire team which works round the clock with industry, fostering partnerships, fostering new alliances, building bridges that our students actually benefit by it. On alumni network, um, I think it's crossed 1,500, and that was what we were celebrating the other day. The other day on our on the on our uh, uh, leadership group, and we were so excited that our alumni network is growing day by day. We have fresher alumni who keep adding to our alumni network, and when they do well, we feel proud. And when they are there, we feel so happy because we know that we already have someone to look forward to. And these alumni are going to be people whom you can actually look to tomorrow when you need help for anything. These are some of the alumni at Pearl who have done really well. A couple of names are missing out here, which I should probably tell you, uh, or I should leave it to Fibin to talk to you about one of our alumni who's doing really well today. But just to mention those whom we have on our screen, we have Nikhil Mehra, he's part of Shantanu and Nikhil. Uh, we have Janita Banerjee, who's senior designer with Outlook. We have Rohan Chabra, who's doing really well. He's with Lab Polo Ralph Lauren in New York. Mandira works as a designer. Amita, Amit Bhajan works with Levi Strauss. We have Akarshika who's working with IBM. We have we have alumni in Bangalore who have amazing jobs. So we have people who who passed out of Pearl, Delhi, passed out of Pearl, Bang, uh, Bombay, passed out of Pearl, Jaipur, who are doing amazingly well. They're working with Future Group. They're working with the Landmark Group. They're working with Reliance. They're working with Mintra. And each one of our alumni is doing so well. It's it's really a proud moment to say that they're part of the Pearl family and they're doing so well. And careers at Pearl. So we have a professional development program as I spoke to you about. So professional development is basically uh, when you're a student, you may not know how do you structure your CV, what you should talk, how do you conduct yourself, how should you address for an interview. Uh, there's an entire desk, there's an entire lot of people who support you through this. They handhold you through this entire process, prepare you for the job interviews prepare you for how you will talk and present yourself with the outside world. We have placement weeks where the companies come into our campus, which is really interesting. And we have lots of companies from tech companies who now have been coming into Pearl a lot, so Cognizant, IBM, um, Mahindra Tech, they all come to the Pearl campus and they are looking for designers like you. They want designers to come and join them. And it, it wasn't so a few years back, but now I think um, engineers and technology people have realized that designers, no matter what designer you are, product designer, fashion designer, uh, fashion stylist, you bring something to the table which is so necessary for a company to for a, for a, for uh, for businesses to do really well because you bring this entire empathy, which is part of this entire design process that you all learn, which come which comes in handy for people to work with you. So we have a lot of tech companies coming into the campus and picking up our students. We have HR summits where we actually invite HR people from various industries, various companies to come and talk about what they're looking for when they come to recruit new students. It's an interesting thing because every year HR changes. Every year the kind of people they look for is changing. And it's interesting that they come into Pearl Academy, they talk to students, students get a chance to talk to them, interact with them, understand with them what are the skill sets an HR person is looking for when they're employing you. Or what is new that you can do or how do you need to present yourself or what are the additional skill sets that you might need to be a success in this industry and these are the pictures of some of our students some of the, the hr summit some of our students who've been actually going for interviews and this is our placement so we've had 99 percent placement at first we're really proud of it and placed across a gamut of companies uh, international companies, domestic companies, tech companies, startups, design studios, you name them and we have our students who are placed at every one of these companies. It really gives us pride because it's been a long and hard work put in by the team which actually manages placements and today we are proud to say that we've had amazing placement records. We have people who come to, we have 500 plus companies coming to the uh, coming to the campus. We have students who become entrepreneurs and do really, really well. A student of ours from the fashion school, Vilandra, Kaushik Vilandra, is actually internationally 
so he's a global celebrity today because uh, he's he won the LVMH Design Award and he's doing really well for himself. So our success stories are coming in every day, and we are so so proud of our students who pass out of pearl. And these are our alliances. So we are tied up with FDCI, which you know, which is the which is the Fashion Design Council of India. Uh, pearl is closely tied up with them. Our students present the final collection at the FDCI event, which is amazing. We are tied up with the Association of Designers of India. Fiki Frames, I believe, may have to talk about this because I think this is more something that she can throw light on. I, I don't know that much about that. Institute of Interior Designers, the Confederation of Indian Industry, the NSDC, the Skill Development Corporation. We, I mean, Pearl students are winning prizes year after year with this. And it is something which we are really happy with. It began as a very small initiative, it's grown into a huge initiative from Pearl. And we're really proud of faculty and students who participate in this. Our alliances and institutional partners. The list grows every day. It is it is nurtured by us, and it comes in handy for students when they join us. So we're really proud of it. And that and this is our Bangalore campus, which is opening a residency road uh, next to Opera House. We were really hoping that we could have called you to the campus, but with this lockdown, we're not able to do it. But when this lockdown lifts, I would really, really uh, like to invite each one of you personally to come to our to come where we work from. We are working out of a we work a we work campus, which is on Residency Road, one building away from our campus. And we would love to take you through our we work uh, experience center. We have Rachel who will be more than happy to show you for for you to experience Pearl since Portal Pearl campus comes up. And when the campus opens for the new term, we'll be really happy to welcome you guys there. So we really look forward to seeing you on our campus. We're really excited about Pearl Bank. We waited for years for this to happen, and it's a dream come true. And we'd love to see you on our campus. Yeah, thank you so much. And with this, okay, sorry, I'm sorry, I haven't finished my presentation. Uh, so these are the courses that we offer in the School of Fashion. We offer undergraduate program in fashion design and fashion styling and image design. Uh, we also offer postgraduate programs in fashion design, fashion styling, and image design. Maurizio will touch upon both of these in detail when he walks you through what we do. Uh, School of Design, which Shristi is going to take you through since Alex, I don't know if Alex has joined in or not, but actually Shristi will take you through this. Amazing courses, animation, VFX, game design, interior design, product design, graphics and communication design, user experience interaction design. The courses are really exciting. We've had a really Great response to school to both the School of Fashion and the School of Design from the bank for the from the, for the Bangalore campus. In the postgraduate program, they offer graphics and communication design, interior design and styling, product design, and UI UX. The School of New Age Business, we offer digital marketing and data analytics, fashion and lifestyle business management, global luxury brand management. If anybody has questions for this, I would be more than happy to answer. And the School of New Age Business, we have postgraduate programs, we have fashion business, which is marketing and merchandising and luxury brands. And the School of Contemporary Media, Meha will take you through this in detail when she joins you on this, on this show, on this uh, webinar. Uh, undergraduate programs, we have, we have entertainment, media and communication. We have fashion communication, which is one of our more popular programs. We have journalism, media and communication. We also have a postgraduate programs in entertainment, media, and communication, fashion, communication, journalism, media, and communication. I will leave Meher to answer your questions on all of that. And that is Paul Academy, and that is at the orientation program. And that is what we look for. That is what our students look like, really happy, excited to be around. And we're really proud of Paul Academy. And that is Manisha Rora with them. So we are celebrity amongst all our students. And thank you so much. And Dion, I would like to now invite Maurizio, who is our Dean of the School of Fashion, to walk you, talk to you about fashion design and what he does, and he, they do amazing stuff. So Dion, can I request you to make Maurizio, Maurizio the presenter, please? Thank you yes, so much. Yes. All right, so. I stop showing screen now, yeah? Yes. All so, about Maurizio. So I'm, I'm, I hope I'm audible. Welcome everyone. Uh, uh, thank you, Sangeeta, for uh, introducing me. I think, as you said, it would have been a real pleasure, guys, to meet you all in person, but we will have plenty of opportunities uh, to do that. And yes, we've been waiting for, uh, since the time I've joined, to open uh, uh, Pearl Bangalore. And finally, I'm very, very happy, actually, that we're opening in Bangalore because uh, 
it's going to be a, a very great experience. Uh, I'll just tell you a little bit more about the School of Fashion. Uh, we have started 27 years ago, and uh, <clears throat> myself, I'm the dean for the school. I've been in the fashion education for about 16 years now, between Europe, Thailand, China, and uh, for the last four years, I've been working with Perl. And um, it is a very exciting school. We have two main verticals. One is fashion and textile, and the other one is the styling and beauty. Together with me, I have two HODs. One is Prasanna for the fashion and styling course, for the uh, fashion and textile course. And then I have Shalini Gupta for the styling and uh, beauty course. Um, as Zangida mentioned, one of the biggest collaboration that we have is with the FDCI. And that gives uh, the students an extremely good exposure because uh, not only we are uh, showcasing uh, all our students, regardless of which campus they're from, will get the opportunity to showcase their final design work at the Lotus Makeup India Fashion Week, which is the biggest fashion week that is happening in India. And the amazing thing is that you will show in the same platform of big designers. In fact, for example, this year, we have JJ Valaya's daughter studying with us, and uh, both of them, the father and the daughter, will share in the same platform. I think that's uh, something absolutely amazing for those people who want to study fashion design. Um, when um, Dr. Sarangida talked uh, to you guys about the total learning system, she mentioned two very important things. One is the international lab experience. So basically, we allow every student to have uh, an, international lab, an international experience. So we have some students who are deciding to travel abroad. <laughs> we have some students who decide to take part and intern at the Fashion Week. In fact, we have collaboration with a company called Fashion Incubator, which takes care of sending our students to Paris Fashion Week, London Fashion Week, Milan Fashion Week, New York Fashion Week, and the New York Fashion Week in specifically, it is an extremely exciting experience because we take the students there for 10 days. They are taking part of master classes. They're taking part of seminars that are happening, conferences, things like that. But then not, not every student want to travel abroad. So for those who don't travel, we create very exciting projects with our partner university. I think one of the most exciting that we have done last year was with FIT New York where we had students of Perl, students of New York studying together, and then they designed the new Kurta, and we're going to showcase this as soon as the lockdown is over, both at the Fashion Week here and in New York 7th Avenue. This year, we are working on an, an amazing uh, um, international project with uh, St. Joseph Martin, where the students are working on understanding sustainability, and what is it that we can do? Um, so that's something that only uh, to get this opportunity. Also, with the FDCI, we have lots of other collaboration. A very interesting one we do as soon as you join Perl. We set up in all our campuses um, something that we call Designer Club, where you have 10 tables, 10 designers. Uh, people from the, the styling industry, photographers, and you can go and have um, a very exciting conversation with them. And then when you reach level two, we do two projects. One is a module, which is called Brand Smooth. The other thing we do, it's called uh, Idea Generator. So basically, we are gathering students together. We're gathering people from the industry. You get an opportunity to understand what could be the possible trend. So there are many, many things happening. And um, uh, I think I'm, 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 I, I will not take long time because I want to leave lots of uh, time also for your questions and for my colleagues. But uh, Dr. Sarangida ended with a picture with Manish Arora. And uh, that was a great, exciting experience our students did because we had him as a mentor. And um, Every student from every campus, uh, Mumbai, Jaipur, Delhi, they all design, uh, uh, and from all the schools also, not just from the School of Fashion. We had uh, students studying product design, we had students study um, fashion media communication, we had students study uh, fashion design and textile. They all design an amazing collection, and then at the end of it, we set up a very 
a beautiful pop-up store during the fashion week and all our students had the opportunity to sell that collection during the fashion week itself so i think in terms of industry collaboration in terms of uh, international exposure that uh, per can give you it's something that at least no other schools have been working for have been able to to give to the students so it is a very very great experience and the global part of it the going internationally i think dr sangita will agree with me it is something extremely important for the designer of the future guys that is something that i think once you're deciding to enroll for any creative career I think you have to really, really see what is it that the curriculum can offer you. And once uh, we discuss about the total learning system, you know, all these um, um, having master classes from people from the industry, being able to go abroad, uh, be able to do exchanges with other colleges, those are the things that really will make you more than a fantastic designer, will make you very uh good creative thinker because that's this is what is required if you are very good in creating in uh, thinking out of the box and you becoming a, a, a creative thinker then automatically you will be a great designer so thank you for your time and mir to answer any question you you might have and um please uh, thank you Thank you so much, Maritza. For those of you who don't know, Maritza has been doing amazing work at the School of Fashion. Uh, I think it's brought up the level fantastically. Our students are doing amazing, amazing shows and really, really amazing work. And he's a really passionate person. And I think the School of Fashion has benefited immensely by him being there. Thank you so much, Maritza. Uh, the next speaker I would like to invite is Shrishti Bajaj. Shrishti, are you, can you come on? Can, I, can we see you? Can we get your webcam on? Hi. Hi. So Shrishti is the head of this head of the department of product design, an amazing product designer herself. Shrishti actually joined Pearl while she was running her own practice. And I think now Pearl has made sure that she doesn't have time to do anything except Pearl. So Shrishti, all for you. Please take them through uh, your feet. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sayogita and Maurizio. You've made me excited all over again about being at Pearl. Um, I think uh, um, what I would like to say is that over my experience, I've been here for about five and a half years. And I think uh, what excites me more about most about uh, being here is how dynamic uh, everything is at Pearl. And it's constantly evolving. Uh, I think um, extremely agile as an institution and as, a, as an academic institution. Um, because uh, it's very difficult in academics to change very, very quickly. But uh, I think uh, we've kept pace with the times. Uh, even now, all our classes with all the lockdown, I think within a week we were doing all our classes online and all students across campuses have yeah. been studying online. And it's actually very, very exciting for all students. And it's been a great experience. Um, um, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, school of design uh, school of design uh, has three key verticals uh, we have product design uh, which I lead and within product design we have two other uh, things we have industrial design we have uh, accessories and jewelry however that's not open in uh, Bangalore we also have communication design as a vertical and uh, we've got animation and we've got UX UI and graphic design um, here and uh, of course the uh, interior design where we look at interiors in both UG and PG uh, with interior styling um, and I think what is great about uh, all the three verticals is although they're extremely independent I think there is a shared core philosophy across the three departments uh, for example there is an intention to be sustainable and make sure that our students are learning that from the get-go um, there is an intention towards understanding um, what we call the SDGs or the United Nations sustainable development goals so a lot of our programming is geared towards ensuring that the students who graduate um, through the School of Design uh, and in fact uh, maybe to a large extent uh, most of all um, are capable are competent and conscious um, i think that's very very important today uh, i mean uh, we all know the world that we live in and i think there is a great need for um, designers who can uh, go out and really tackle some of these very wicked problems that we uh, 
live and work with. Um, there's also a lot of hands-on work uh, that I want to focus on um, because, uh, you know, all the three verticals within School of Design and to a large extent fashion and media, extremely hands-on. So our infrastructure is extremely robust. Um, there are all kinds of uh, workshops and classroom, uh, sorry, workshops and maker spaces where you can actually go on hands-on and have an experience. So whether you want to work in wood, metal, plastics, uh, fabric, textile, printmaking, um, you know, uh, Wacom tablets, uh, tablets um, AR, VR, um, you know, all of the gamut of from the mechanical to the digital, um, you know, laser cutting, 3D printing, CNC labs, I can, you know, keep go on, going on and on. Uh, we have a whole lot of infrastructure that allows students to really express themselves and translate their ideas into um, a reality. Uh, and I think that's what builds the portfolio at the end of the uh, four years in the undergrad and two years in the postgrad. Um, Maurizio and um, uh, Seogita both talked about the international experience um, and the industry experience and I think that's true as much for the School of Design. Um, we do the internship both as part of a live industry project where we invite uh, an industry to come and do a project with our students and it's mandatory. It's part of the curriculum so it ensures that every student no matter which year they join in have an experience of the industry. Um, we did projects with um, actually Bangalore-based companies. We did, for example, with Tanishq, we did with Unilever in Bombay, uh, we did it with Fast Track, we um, uh, did it with Havels, um, we had a bunch of other companies in interiors that I unfortunately can't recall the name of right now, um, who did um, uh, industry projects with us. Um, students also participate in the internship during the summer break and the winter break. So we encourage students to get as much interface with the industry as possible um, whether it's studio visits uh, through the classroom whether it's industry experts coming in and talking about their work uh, industry visits where we take students to the industry to show them how let's say manufacturing happens how business happens um, you know how is the design studio infrastructure set up so that you're not only understanding let's say the nitty-gritty of the um, expertise you're trying to learn but also a macro picture of how work actually happens in the industry in the real sense um, and that's very very important because we want to make sure that the transition between a classroom ecosystem and the industry platform is seamless. Um, so that is extremely important. Um, with respect to international experience, we have something called the International Lab, um, where for the UG students, we make sure we're collaborating with universities across the country, whether it's CSM, as Maurizio mentioned, to NTU, to Gloucestershire, to Derby. Uh, I mean, I can rattle off names where students are currently doing live projects even under lockdown. So even if we are not able to take students, we are making sure that there is learning happening between students sitting in another part of the world and here. Uh, students are actually doing exciting projects like the COVID-19 project where hackathons, where students are actually working on how to design for a world that's in peril, uh, which is very, very exciting. Um, Students also get to travel. Um, uh, Maurizio mentioned uh, as well in the postgraduate uh, programs. And uh, for School of Design, there is a collaboration with Domus and other institutes. So we make sure that the students travel to these um, uh, cities and learn about different cultures. They learn about how design is in a global sense and not just within India. Uh, because I think today in the world that we live in, um, we can no longer focus on just what is happening around us. Uh, we have to be agile designers. We have to be international in our outlook. Um, today, people are looking at Indian designers uh, producing for a global market. Um, and I think we have to make sure the students are ready for that. Um, I would also like to add, I think I've taken up enough time, uh, perhaps uh, just one last point. I think um, for us, there are, uh, there are five things that we want to focus on. I think we want to make sure that the students who graduate are curious. I think all designers need to be extremely curious about the world. So um, the desire to know something uh, helps you become a better designer. Uh, we ensure that students are empathetic. Um, for you to be able to put yourself in the mind of the user is very important for you to be a good designer. We want you to be creative. 
I mean, at the end of the day, there has to be a difference between how a designer approaches a problem versus a layman approaches a problem. So how do you think, uh, how, do you, how, how can you apply different ways of thinking, uh, whether it's speculative design, whether it's futuristic thinking, whether it's uh, looking at technologies, whether it's, uh, you know, looking at the design process, um, you know, disruption, innovation, all these things, there is a process to it. So we teach students how to do that. Um, it is very important to have a 360 degree outlook. Um, look, as a designer, you can never know enough. So do you know about uh, what social systems you're living in? Do you know about what uh, ecosystems and political and social, uh, political and economic systems you're living in? And that has an impact on design. So being able to understand that relationship and being able to very quickly make intuitive decisions about design based on understanding of all these things is very, very important. Um, and I think one has to have a very keen aesthetic sense. Um, that's also very important because, you know, as a user, the first thing that uh, reaches out to you is uh, what you see in front of you, uh, what it looks like. So that's also very, very important. And of course, being able to be technically and skillfully adaptable uh, and i think that's uh, that's very very important for all designers um, so these are the kind of five things that over the period of three or four years or two years that we take students through um, so that uh, you do come out of um, the design um, learning you know uh, ready for the workforce ready and employable and uh, leading actually the design thinking and not just following the hood. Um, so that's very, very important. Um, and I think that's really it for me. Um, I would like to invite uh, Sayogita back uh, into the conversation. Um, Thank I'll... you so much. As usual, amazing to hear you talk. Thank you so much. Uh, can I now invite Mar Meha Jaisal, who is the head of the department for communication, media and communication to come and talk about fashion communication. Meha, can you hear me? Yes, yes I can Hi. hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Can we also hear to see you? Can, so if you just go to the webcam can, and say my webcam, we'll see you. Mm. On the right hand, go below the dashboard and you just see webcam. After audio, there'll be a webcam. Actually, I couldn't join on my uh, laptop. I'm on my mobile oh. phone. Uh, yeah. So I don't know where the icon here is seen. Um, oh, okay. Settings. Uh, on the right if you go there'll be a dashboard can you see a dashboard recording dashboard attendee audio can you see something on the right hand side no i'm oh, so sorry hold but... on, hold on. Uh, let me do one thing yeah i'm not sure no no i was just as connected to audio i'm not sure if uh, it can take a cam Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. because is there a setting that I have to make? I'm not very certain. Uh, okay. I think I think possibly it have it works on the uh, laptop. And it may not be on the, on the phone. Okay. You, okay. I'm not certain. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'll I'll carry on, and then maybe you can show Sayogita's face and let it be my voice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You can. And yes. this and you continue. No, and thank you so much for giving this opportunity. I think it's in this time, uh, all of you students, you are lucky that you have access to such resources where you're able to meet and talk to people who could at least guide you in your directions of future careers. So welcome. And let me share with you. I mean, a lot has been said about Pearl and our courses, but if you want to be someone who wants to travel the world, visit best destinations, be invited for fashion shows on, in the front rows, explore cuisines, fashion, lifestyles, all social systems around the world, then fashion communication is the course. That's the most exciting course that we have, in fact, in uh, fashion domain, which, you know, you get paid for it. You travel the world and get paid for it. That's what. So you're writing, you're, whatever you write, you shoot is read by people. You are the ones who's critiquing and reviewing shows. So this is one of the very exciting professions and it's tough. Yes, it is tough because you are writing, you are part of the media world till say 2 a.m. in the morning. That's what this world is all about. So you have to be ready for high pressures. 
this course takes you through fashion journalism, fashion photography, events, set design, um, fashion advertising and public relations. So how you style, set up and stage shoots is a big part of it. So you got to have flair for writing, understand aesthetics, understand and have a strong sense of fashion. And that is where what makes you a fashion communicator. Students here are alumni. They're working for Vogue Online. They're working with Harper's Bazaar, L, um, NDTV, Hindustan Times. In fact, the cover page photographer, Shivam Pathak, he's our graduate. We have students who are now faculty members at Parsons, New York. Yes. So those are our graduates that we're talking about. So fashion communication, in fact, at Pearl Academy is one of the best ones that you have for maybe in Asia, not just in India, because this is where you are exposed to industry. Editors of magazines teach you. They are not there just to come and look at your work, but they're there to take master classes. They are the ones who are teaching you. We have one of the editors, Bridal Asia's editor. She is a teacher on the fashion journalism module. The set designer for India Fashion Week is a regular teacher for your faculty member for event design module. So this is how this is what the careers are for fashion communication. Now, when I talk about fashion communication, it is also it also follows the same Pearl formula for the academics, which means you have international lab, you have open labs. Right now, while I, when I was logging in here, fashion communication students were collaborating with Manchester students, Manchester Metropolitan University students on one platform for their collaborative project. And this is a situation. Our students are working on a historical project. We call, of course, we call it the COVID-19, uh, COVID uh, project and uh, pandemic project, whatever you call it. But this is one of the historical projects. How are they shooting, investigating stories and shooting, styling at in lockdown circumstances. And they're going to come up with magazines, coffee table books and fashion films sitting at home in lockdown. So this is where the course takes you. You can't come up with problems. You have to give a solution. And that's what a designer is. And that is why fashion communication is a very strongly based design course. And many students ask this question as to why do we have to understand foundation design? Why do we have to go through foundation design? But this is where your entire curriculum is based on. So let me end here and I would rather take up questions on how you can prepare for your portfolio. What do we expect? <clears throat> what do you study or in the final year? What kind of opportunities we have? So I would rather take those questions here. Thank you, Sayogita. Thank you so much, Meha. Um, so you students are out there. Meha is an amazing teacher, uh, very good at what she does. Her kids surprise you every time with the kind of stuff that they come up with. And I've been surprised many, many times, pleasantly surprised. But having said that, that's true of any of the faculty at Pearl, whether it's Shishti or there's Ritsu or that's Meha. I think everyone does amazing work. So now we're opening this thing for questions. Anything that you would like to ask, please ask, and we'll be more than happy to answer. Sure. Um, thank you, guys. I mean, it was a brilliant uh, discussion so far. Um, there are a few questions that people have asked in the pane. I will just read these questions out. A uh, question from Mahima B. Could you please give us information regarding the degree that will be awarded after completion of the course? Okay. So, uh, Mahima, we do not give a degree. We give you a uh, certificate after every year that you do at Pearl. If I'm wrong, but it's your please come in and correct me for saying something wrong. Uh, but we also enroll all our students into a distant learning ed program uh, where you do get a BA degree. So we we ensure that all us we don't have we do, we're not affiliated to a university in India or anywhere. So we don't have a degree as such. We don't give you a BDES degree. We give you a certification. Having said that, every student who joins us it, uh, enrolls with either IGNU or in Bangalore. We're going to enroll the Bangalore University where you can actually get a BA degree. 
so the end of four, or you can go on the final year to any university abroad complete your final year and then you get a bds degree from that university that is what we follow at call what do you want to add to that i think that's uh, very much clear we do have diplomas every year and yes as you mentioned it um, they can take an international degree if they want we also have an opportunity with torrens university in case they do not want to go to australia they can take their um, uh, degree from torrens uh, by completing the final year online so that's uh, one one third option that we have but uh, something i would like to add that what we noticed and as you earlier on mentioned um, precisely was that we do have 99 percent of placement so in i would like to underline that uh, in design careers actually probably um, degree is not something extremely important for them to have but the kind of portfolio that they will develop is what they actually need for the uh, to get an, an, a very good job um, once they have completed their study yeah. Thank i you would Example, can i just add one more thing? Uh, i would just like to add one more thing um, i think with the final year what we've had over the last two years is i think we've grown in our uh, portfolio of universities one can graduate out of so not just australia but uk and we keep adding more and more universities every year so based on what kind of program you'd like to um, take up and the kind of uh, geographical location you might choose um, there, there is a whole bunch of options available to every student. Yeah. Yeah. So there's also a question from Mehek who says, can we do an undergraduate degree in fashion design and do a master in fashion communication? Is that possible? Definitely Mehek. I think that's totally possible. Uh, you can do undergraduation in any, any design field that you want, and then you might want to do your masters in something different. It's perfectly all right. Um, so, uh, so Mahima has also asked, is there a hostel facility available? Yes, Mahima, we are tied up with a company called Oxford Caps. Oxford Caps does the largest number of hostels the world over. Uh, they have amazing facilities. So in Bangalore, they have about 10 or 11 facilities. And we're tying up with them to get a hostel a facility for our girls. Uh, somewhere near Alsur, so it's about two kilometers from our campus. And there's a good uh, connectivity by the metro. The metro is five minutes walk from the campus. We are on residency road. So the uh, MG Road uh, metro station, exactly five minutes walk down Brigade Road. So we do have a hostel facility. And it's an amazing uh, tie up that we have because they keep the most beautiful hostels. So in fact, uh, a lot of the colleges in Bangalore actually are with Oxford Caps. And um, I think the facilities are really amazing. They have amazing housekeeping, very clean premises, great food, and I think they do a great job. Um, so uh, what are the portfolio requirements? Mahek is asking, what are the portfolio requirements? I wanted to you can probably talk about the portfolio requirements for fashion, and Shrishti can talk for design, and Meha can pitch in for, uh, for media. I think uh, the very um, first thing we're looking at is how much passion you have for the um, for the career that you want to enter. And then, yes, I mean, if you do have a portfolio and um, you can show us, we something that we're really looking at is how creative you can be and what kind, see, um, we don't actually have pre-requirements of uh, specific skills because um, you will learn everything that you need to learn starting from the foundation down to the, level three but yes if you do have uh, some um, portfolio that you would like to show us i think we can also um, i'm sure uh, you can come to our experience center we can look at what kind of works you've done we can give you some tips of what extra you might want to explore so but something that we're really really looking for is how creative you can how creative you are in whatever you present and what kind of passion that uh, that you have this is at the two things that we are looking at mostly once uh, any students want to enroll with us. I think, Shrishti, if you want to add anything to that. Shrishti and Meha can add to that. Sorry, yeah. that's absolutely true. Um, I think um, the way I like to usually um, translate, translate this for the students is I tell them that we want to know who you are. Uh, I think exactly. it's very, very important to bring that out, whether it's through 
a musical composition it's an essay it's a photography collage it's it's anything that that we can see that it, how you've expressed yourself that allows us to take a peek into who you are uh, and of course being able to deliver that passion that you have for the profession you're striving for but because believe me it's hard work right and we want to see whether you're ready for that hard work you know whether you're ready to slave it off or you you kind of are in just for the ride. Uh, so it, it, I think that's what we're trying to make out uh, during the portfolio and the interview. Um, so that's the most important thing. Um, I do get a lot of questions, uh, especially for School of Design, whether students need to be good at math or do they need to be good at sketching. Um, and uh, for both, it's no. Uh, I think it's, it's like um, we are going to teach you those skills. OK, uh, what it's almost like uh, if you want to really prepare yourself, it's good. You get a head start. Um, but if you feel like uh, this is a skill set you do not have, then do not worry. We will train you. We are skilling you for these things. That's important. Okay, just one question for you. Uh, can you please draw more light on PG interior and product design and the scope after the uh, scope after the course interior okay. and product? So um, interior design uh, is interior design and styling where uh, a student focuses on not just the interior spaces and spatial design, but they also look at uh, the more aesthetic aspect of interiors because I think today, I mean, look at where we are uh, uh, in our everyday lives. We are living inside our homes. We are working in, from our homes. We are essentially living in that uh, square foot. So uh, the rooms are more and more representing the people that house them. It's not just brick, mortar, and color. It's a personality. So I think the program in PG really focuses on, on teaching students how to um, not just design in terms of technically, but also looking at human behavior, psychology, and uh, colors, materials, finishes, um, so that the student is able to actually deliver any kind of client and any time of um, brief. Um, I, students who graduate uh, or finish PG in interiors often take up roles with architectural firms or start their own companies, actually. We get a lot of interior design students who, for the post-grad program, they end up starting their own organizations. Uh, we've had students who work with people like Morphogenesis, which is a very well-known uh, consultancy. Um, there is also Beehive Design. There are many, many uh, consultants where students work. Um, for product design, uh, the program in, in, the mass, in the PG also looks at uh, not just giving you the basic skills because we get students. Jaden, you don't understand the night at night. Who somebody okay, just sorry. got reprimanded by their mother? Uh, <laughs> it happens. That's okay. Um, so for product design uh, and interiors, both we get students from uh, different multiple disciplines as their background. So uh, it's not a prerequisite to have a creative degree or a creative background. Um, so we teach you all the skills. Uh, we also take you through things like system design. We also take you through interactive technologies. You know how to play with sensors and look at IoT and um, build a strong portfolio, whether it's social design, whether it's uh, uh, technological based design manufacturing uh, working with industry again very very critical um, so we make sure that you're getting not just the technical skills and knowledge uh, as a product designer but also understanding business aspects uh, because again for the PG program most students who exit the program are looking at not starting just as a designer but looking at more roles of design managers um, so it's very important to build both components not just the design skill, but the design management skill. So we teach you um, both aspects of design. Uh, I hope that answers the question. Thanks, Shishti. Um, so I think Shishti also covered UI, UX to some extent. Uh, so there are some other questions. I'm going to just cover them generically. Uh, somebody's asked me that Pearl Academy is like opening new out here. What about the infrastructure and everything else? Just to tell you, uh, Pearl Academy, this is our fifth campus that we're opening. We have two in Delhi, one in Bombay, one in Jaipur. Uh, when Bombay began five years back, everybody said, how are you going to have a new campus coming up in Mumbai? How are you going to be ready? And today, Mumbai campus is the second largest campus we have in Pearl. Yeah, so uh, Pearl Academy is good at replicating campuses. Uh, if if this lockdown had not happened, you could have actually seen the progress we're making in our campuses. Uh, the campus at Bangalore is really a beautiful new age campus. It's like beautifully designed, and I think it's a dream campus for any student. 
Um, so uh, I wish I could have showed you that video during this presentation, but those of you who are keen can attend our seminar, that webinar that we're doing on the 10th for Pearl, for Pearl Bangalore. Uh, infrastructurally, our labs will all be ready. Uh, the spaces have all been allotted and we've been having a lot of arguments, discussions with all the deans and the HOD so that every school gets space that they really need. Yeah, Shishti is laughing because she wanted more space. Maritsu has been fighting for space. I think everybody is fighting for space, but we'll be absolutely ready and up and running when the college reopens. So don't worry about the campus. Don't worry about the labs. Don't worry about infrastructure. They've got it all under control. Somebody said that I'm doing law and I'm interested in fashion. I would suggest finish your law and then you can probably do your post-graduation in a fashion design course. We have a lot of dentists, accountants, doctors, engineers, yeah, Maurizio, who all come and do fashion design after doing all these courses. Absolutely. I think that the, the, that is a very interesting thing that happened with the PG students because they all come from different, different backgrounds. And we actually uh, asking them to convert those skills that they've learned and apply those into fashion. So whichever uh, background you're coming from, we will find a way to make sure that first you have an eight weeks foundation. So all the students are getting to the same level. And then right after that, it is very interesting to see how people coming from different backgrounds, how they see it, the subject. And I wanted to add one more thing about the Bangalore campus. I think it's um, an amazing campus and the best part that say uh, Dr. Sangeeta, she's been working for us. She actually discovered me, and um, also Fibin. Fibin has been course leader for uh, in our campuses. So you know the kind of uh, experience that you get, the kind of uh, parity or uh, exposure and everything that it is extremely well, as Sangeeta mentioned, replicated. Because we have me, we have the HODs traveling across all our campuses, all the faculties are on the same level. So we've been, we are spending lots of time to identify the right people. And we have lots of people who, who are coming already from, Perla, from uh, you know, a long experience with Perl Academy. Just to add to what Maritza um, was saying, they also have a training. Sorry, she still just mentioned this, then you can come in. They also have a training which they do for every new, body, for every new person who joins Perl. So that the pedagogy is followed, the same pedagogy is followed, the same standard is maintained across campuses. So I think that's something yeah. else, Trishti, you can know. And Meha, you can add to this. I was going to this. add the same thing. I was yeah. going to say it's absolutely the same thing. I think one of the things that, and a lot of people don't know about this actually. Uh, I think Pearl focuses a lot on ensuring that every campus, uh, whether it's old or new, there is a parity in learning and the student experience does not change. So whether you're sitting in Jaipur, Delhi, you know, uh, Bombay, Bangalore, Calcutta, um, it is very important for us to make sure that the students go away without any kind of compromise in learning. So the curriculum is very um, strictly monitored. Um, you know, there is a hierarchy, less uh, like uh, Dr. Sarangita mentioned, between deans, HODs, course leaders, faculty. There is a review curriculum. There's a review of student work. You know, I, as the head of department, travel to all campuses every month to actually ensure that what we had envisioned in terms of um, delivery of learning is applied and there is a certain threshold and benchmark that is maintained, monitored and delivered at the end of every module. Um, so it's very important for us to uh, make sure that happens, that that parity stays. So oftentimes students say, oh, but Delhi is your first campus, you know, that's going to be better than the others. But that's not the case. Um, believe us, it's the same everywhere. That element of parity is very, very crucial for us. Otherwise, we will we can't claim that we have Pearl Academy students uh, graduating from every campus. So we I, have to I we have to follow. Them. So I think Maritio and all the other deans, the HODs like Meha, Shrishti, Prasanna, they work really, really hard. And I think we've been going through a very diligent process of hiring faculty who will also be able to carry the Pearl values. So we have a blend of old Pearlites, we have a blend, we have some new faculty, and we think that's the way an institution can actually grow. Um, so the exams this year are online. As you all know, the entrance exam is online. So once you log on to that, I don't think you should have a problem answering the question paper. Yeah, we had to do it online because of the coronavirus. Otherwise, we don't have a written paper like we have every year. So don't worry, just log on to that system and you can actually uh, answer the paper. There should not be any issues at all. 
somebody's asked about the what's next uh, scholarship i think um, that those scholarship results have already been declared rachel do you want to talk about the online exam and the what's next scholarship rachel oh. she's nalini's team rachel okay she's not there do you want to talk about it uh, maritza yeah we have, already... uh, we have completed the what's next scholarship but the other good thing that we can say is that uh, for those who did not take part of the scholarship, if they are uh, top in their class, they will get scholarship obviously for the following year. So if supposing I'm uh, the best students in my level one, then uh, um, you will be awarded the scholarship for your level two. In fact, there are hundred scholarships that are being rolled out, mm -hmm. hundred scholarships. So that is what I mean. We just finished one round of interviews, and I think I'm sure that for deserving and financially needy students, uh, mm -hmm. Pearl looks at. Uh, so we'll have some hundred scholarships for the session. Yeah. I'll just add on to what's been said. Yeah. Come, yeah. Please, Rachel. Thank you. Yes. So we have this Who's Next scholarship, uh, which all students can apply. Those who are appearing for the 18th April exam. 12th April is the last day to apply for Who's Next scholarship. Uh, as they say, we are offering scholarship to 100 students, top 100 creative minds. Uh, for the instructions, the, there is a link for Who's Next scholarship on the website. You can download the statement of purpose and answer the questions asked in that document. Email that document to Who's Next scholarship at the pearlacademy.com before 12th of April. Yeah, so I hope you answer that question. Thank you, Rachel, so much. There's also a question from Shreyanshi, Shreyansh Rao. He says, I'm a design aspirant from Bangalore. I want to interact with the student to get to know how the environment is. Uh, Shreyansh, you know, right now there's nobody on the campus. If you join, you'll be one of the, as the first batch opening in Bangalore. However, uh, we do have alumni, and when we do our argument where we welcome all the new students onto our campus, you will meet alumni who've been at Pearl, various Pearls. Otherwise, I think if you go to the Pearl website and just see the testimony that our students write, you get a feel of what we do. And we have so many events that Pearl does on our website. If you just touch up, you just go and look at it, I think you'll get a fair idea as to what the environment is all about. Yeah, or once you join Pearl, we'll probably, you can talk to Pearl Lights in Delhi and Mumbai and Jaipur, and I think you'll get to know what Pearl is all about. I think we are done with most of the answers. Is there any other questions that anybody wants? We can take them. So there's somebody wants to know the design aptitude test. How does it work for the entrance? One of you want to answer this? Yeah. So the yeah, DAT. I can... Yeah. I think the DAT is really just to sort of um, check how creative you are and uh, what kind of abilities you have. So it's basically broken down into some very, very visual questions um, and very abstract um, ways of uh, looking at how you think and approach a problem and a solution to that. Um, I think we have a DAT um, a test paper available on the website um, that you can download and do some practice sessions if you'd like um so that you feel more confident um but really it's re for us to see how uh, how creatively you approach a problem given to you um it's a visual it's a visual exam to test test, test the design aptitude as the paper says and just to see how creative you are how out of the box you're able to think so don't worry don't get tense about it I have an interesting question from Duthi Verma. Duthi, we have something called the School of Creative Practice, which is the first year when you join Pearl. Uh, we, we know that when you come out of school, we have to unlearn learning from a book. Uh, so we don't encourage books. We don't teach from books. The fact that you don't carry textbooks and teach you from it. So the first year that you're at Pearl, you will you will do some, we, used to be called Foundation. It is now called the School of Creative Practice. It's basically teaching you how to hone your creativity. Everybody who joins us is creative in some way. And I think the School of Creative Practice brings that to the fore. And then you, in the next year, you go to your various schools and you start doing a specific subject. So I hope I've answered your question. Uh, some uh, Mehak, Mehak Oswal wants to know about artificial intelligence that was mentioned in the video. You want to take it? Yeah, or it's you, anybody? Yeah, so maybe we, I could take it yeah, in I fashion for Sure. We have this module. 
we have a module fashion futures and uh, media futures and which is now ai is so important today for whether it's in writing or whether it's in e-commerce and many students uh, in fact in their final year take up projects related to ar vr and ai and they have interviewed professionals who are embedding ai into their uh, of course e-commerce these days is using that but how they are embedding it in in their fashion writing and photography which is where a lot of uh, research is also going on amongst these practitioners so students get opportunities uh, to learn uh, we have courses on Coursera also and there are practitioners who come and teach these students in fashion communication thank you so much Meha. Um, I yes. can also come in here. Um, I think artificial intelligence today is a pervasive technology. Uh, I think not just media, but fashion uh, and design both are influenced by AI. Um, so we offer, uh, like Neha said, programs in artificial intelligence and machine learning um, through Coursera, and we have proponents of uh, uh, prop proponents and practitioners of this technology. And I think what we teach is how do you inculcate artificial intelligence and design around it. So it's not just enough to know um, what the technology is. It's important to know how you're going to leverage the technology. And at the end of the day, for the benefit of an end user, whether it's commercial right. or non-commercial. Um, and I think that's where um, uh, the design understanding comes in. Um, so, and technology may change. You know, artificial intelligence may go out in another two days, replaced by something equally exciting or more. And we will adapt to that. Um, so that's very, very important. Um, but yes, uh, we do include it in our programs. Thank you so much, uh, Shishti. Lakshmi Priya had a question saying, I'm studying law in correspondence. Uh, how can I get fashion designing course in Pearl Academy? Lakshmi, you'll have to join us full time. We don't do correspondence and fashion design at all. You can't do it. So while you're doing law, you can also join us and join us for a full-time fashion design course for four years or you can do law and join us for a two-year pg program in fashion design yeah it's up to you to decide how you want to do it if you want to do them together then you can continue law as your online whatever and you can join us and do your undergrad or postgrad depending on what you would like to do uh, i think we have answered most of the questions um does pearl offer the study of any language no mehek we don't offer any language we teach in english that's a medium of communication and that's how it is yeah okay is there a course in interior the ug course in interior design literally in the school of design we do have an undergraduate program in interior design and styling and we have a postgraduate program as well so yeah we do have it so you can apply for it I think we are done with all the questions. Any other questions, let me know. Uh, Dion, I think we're done with the questions. Right. Um, so thank you. Thank you all for attending. Um, there is a contact person here. You can connect with Rachel if you have more questions and you would like to connect with her directly. Um, the number is 742-808-8561. Um, I will send this by email to all of the participants by email. Uh, I'll send an email to all of the participants who've registered so you all can get that. Um, but I must say, I must say, Sanyogita, this has been a great uh, interaction. Um, and moreover, I have, uh, last year, I actually visited uh, Mumbai, Pearl Academy, Mumbai, for their portfolio 2019 showcase, and I thought that was outstanding. Okay. Thank you. Uh, yeah, the, the, the yeah. level of work uh, I saw there, especially the fashion design students, the, the fashion show was outstanding. And I think the platform you're giving your students is brilliant. And I think that needs to be encouraged. Okay. And uh, do hope that as many students from Digital Labs uh, do consider Pearl Academy. Uh, Okay. Thank you, Dion, for organizing this. I know we really harassed you, said we really needed to do this. But really you wanted to teach your and virtually if reality. And thank you so much for organizing this. Thank you, Lakshmi. Thank you, Nalini. Thank you, Rachel. Thanks so much, Maurizio, Meha, and Shish for being here. Thank you, Vivek, thank for you. all the back and forth that you've been giving me. And thanks a lot, Dion, for organizing this. Thank thanks you so much.
thank you thank you to mention Thanks. one more thing uh, to all the students i forgot to mention one more thing to all the students here um i'm guessing all of y'all have access to dq edge if you don't sign into dq edge.dqlabs.in uh there is if let me share my screen so you can see this um yeah so i hope you all can see my screen now what i need y'all to do is sign into um can you all see my screen we can <laughs> so yeah. students. all right all right um so yeah so sign into dq edge and the dq edge this apply to colleges and you will see pearl academy there so i want you to click on pearl Ac academy uh, there is some information there uh, but uh, we need you to go through uh, the small little button that says apply now and you can click on that apply now button and what happens is an email goes to pearl academy and an email goes to us uh, so we can make sure that you have uh, connected with them and they will connect with you and uh, make sure that your application process is smooth. There is Pearl Academy, New Delhi, Mumbai, Jaipur, Bangalore and Kolkata. Yeah? I think we've discussed two of the academies there, but I think all are there. So please apply to Bangalore. If you're from Bangalore, we'll be happy to have you in Bangalore or any other city of your choice that you would like to come. Thank you very much, Rachel and everybody else for being here and for supporting us. Thanks, Vivek. And thank you, Thank you enough for coming here. Thank, thank, thank you so much. Goodbye. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Good luck. Good luck, guys. Yeah. Thanks, Megha. Sorry, we couldn't. They couldn't see you. But yes, thank you so That's much. Okay. Yes. Thank Bye. you so much. Bye.